Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Happy, happy Father's Day today. It's a special day to honor, acknowledge, uh, kind of feel that unconditional love to our fathers. I know this is a very um, challenging for others who are emotionally, you know, um, challenged with their father's uh, intimacy. So if there is uh, separation, abandonment, anything to that effect or abuse could literally uh, break that bondage, that, uh, that uh, healing that we need to, to co-create with the universal divine love. So today I open the Akashic Records and when I do that personally, I also feel the collective healing of the archetypal energies that we are embarking. So the father actually came up and it is the energies of really um, knowing here is the father, that the father archetype has dark and light. You know, like um, to become a father, you are there to provide, uh, create discipline, responsibility, uh, sustainability, security for your family. But there's also a part of abandonment especially when um, you're always providing and working and you're leaving your children to the care of maybe your the mother or the caregiver and i've realized that children feels abandonment differently even though you're a parent who wants the best for your child they feel the abandoned child the inner child the wounded child so in that sense we are always um, imperfect as a result of our actions even though our intentions are for the highest good of the child so the father archetype can um, can assist you in the imperfections that were brought to your um, essence so then we can go beyond the um, the love of the father and receive the love of the universe the creator the source the god however you redeem this um, higher power so today you can reflect and acknowledge your part your responsibility as a child to feel fully um, the forgiveness to forgive to let go to surrender to trust that your relationship with your father even though if your father had uh, transition in the spiritual domain you can still release and forgive by calling in the higher self of your father and yourself visualizing the two of you reconnected reunited embracing the unconditional love the compassion and the kindness that you want and choose to feel I know sometimes it it takes uh, time and space for us humans to to be in this um, divine perfect timing that you're able to release and let go and as fathers and mothers we can release that victim story that we've been carrying through many lifetimes through the ages that we're able to um, climb the mountain 
the mountain is such a um, an evolution of our soul to reach the peak of our soul to reach that uh, illumination of the mind it takes process it takes time and space because we are in this matrix and as we evolve and become more mature more uh, wiser in understanding in this um, creations that we've been co-creating with others with our fathers our mothers this sustainer i feel the father is the sustainer sustaining the um, productivity the creativity the sus sustenance of our uh, family dynamics our security being able to see that and to speak the truth alithia is the truth you know when someone is speaking the truth it resonates to you and you feel it's freeing you right so if i speak of my own truth and my experiences as a child with my father i would resonate the truth with others when they also go through that uh, situations so speaking your truth will free you so i feel like when i was a child i i went through this um, sexual victim consciousness abuse and when i had written a letter to my father and i had spoken my truth it it sinked in it resonated and it helped my father to ask for forgiveness and when he asked for forgiveness i was able to lift that heaviness i didn't know that there was this entity the spirit that is heavy in my hologram so i felt the lifting of the spirit that i was carrying through these timelines so i feel the importance of acknowledging your um wrongdoings your mistakes so then the child can feel that exchange of energy that love that unconditional love when we reach the dead end it is time to stop dead ends are actually a beginning to a new uh, timeline a new template so let's create a new experience that is filled with love compassion and forgiveness to our fathers let's release those memories that are heavy that are blocking us to co-create a new foundation the new structure so rewrite those stories in your akashic records create a new um, love for yourself that in every detail of your experiences there is truth and the truth will set you free and you will be filled with love so i feel the need to pray with our mothers lady nada today lady nada came with this beautiful pink rose and the blue mantle blue and white mantle of mother mary so you can close your eyes and you can take a deep breath inhale and exhale and we ask mother mary lady nada mary magdalene to heal and nurture our hearts to heal the wounds the feelings of separation resentment any judgments any unconscious negative beliefs of abuse patterns cycles that we have co-created with our fathers that it will be released and cleansed from our body, our mind, our heart, our spirit and soul. 
and feel that water falls in your energy centers, cleansing the healing energies of life, opening your mind and your heart with Archangel Raphael, the green ray of light, and the pink ray of light with Archangel Shania, with Archangel Zakiel, the orange ray of light, the healing energies of the Carnelian Temple, this tube of light, of carnelian to heal your sacral chakra in the womb of creation where we began with the seed of our father and our mother to heal to love and to forgive thank you thank you thank you Thank you. Thank you guys for listening and have a blessed Father's Day. Namaste.